Well, thanks to the pandemic, Memphis Animal Services already faces challenges like staffing shortages and capacity issues. And last week, officers took more than 60 animals off one property, worsening their ongoing problems. Now the shelter needs the community to step up and help those two and four legged friends already waiting for their forever homes. To find out how you can lend a helping hand, we're live with MAS Director Alexis Pugh this morning. Alexis, welcome back to Live at Nine. Good to see you, as always. First and foremost, before we get into actually how the community can help out, what's the status of MAS this morning? How packed is it? Yeah, we are extremely full and thanks for having me on to talk about this um, with the cold weather that you just heard described and what's on its way here. Um, we have seen a lot of cases where we have animals that have inadequate shelter that need to be brought into the shelter. Um, because they, they, need, they need that security and we can't leave them where they are. And so we've seen our intake numbers climbing significantly. The 65 animals that came in last week, that's why we brought them in. They did not have adequate shelter and the temperatures were just too cold to leave them where they were. We were concerned they wouldn't even make it through the night. Um, and so we're seeing smaller examples of that throughout the community. Uh, our, our goal, of course, is to have people take care of their pets, bring them inside when these temperatures drop. But in those situations where they don't, we have to step in and take action and that has resulted in a very full shelter for us we're already down staff due to covid quarantines and exposures and hiring challenges that have existed just sort of naturally in our community um, and in our in our facility recently um, and so we are uh, looking for the community's help well, you said looking for the community's help. I know you all are always looking for opportunities for uh, pets to find their forever home, but I know there are temporary options as well. Um, what about fostering? And can you just walk us through that process and what it might look like for families who've never even considered it? Absolutely. So, of course, adoption is always an option, right? Adding a permanent new family member into your home. But another option as well is fostering. Fostering is a temporary choice to take a pet into your home, uh, a dog or a cat. Um, you can keep that pet for a short period of time um, as a transport foster. We actually have a transport going out this coming Friday um, to one of our partner shelters in the north. So you can keep a friendly dog in your home just until Friday of this week. Um, usually those opportunities are about two weeks long. Um, you can also do longer term fostering. You can keep a pet longer and help find them that adopter yourself by using your social networks and, and your friend groups and things like that. And the process is extremely easy regardless of which path you want to take adoption or fostering. You can start by just showing up to our facility. We're there 12 to 4 p.m. every single day, seven days a week. Um, you can also email us at mas at memphistn.gov or you can uh, shoot us an, an e or that's an email right there. You can go to our website, check out available pets and complete an application or call at 636-1416. So basically we have a dedicated staff ready to receive your communication in whatever form works best for you, email, social media, uh, in person, and we'll match you with the perfect pet for your household. Definitely a lot of options out there. Alexis, you also have us wondering uh, when it comes to the pandemic, and I heard you mentioned earlier, its impact on staffing and things like that at MAS. But what about the pandemic's impact on families and individuals? Is that another reason we see a lot of these an animals being taken to the shelter? Yeah, I mean, that's such a great point, Alex. So we are seeing kind of the perfect storm of challenges that animal sheltering faces. And actually, it's happening at the national level. We're hearing from other shelters around the country that they're facing similar crises. So add up COVID quarantines, people who are out of the workplace, hiring challenges that many industries are seeing right now, an uptick in animal intake due to the cold weather. And then on top of that, like you said, an uptick to requests to surrender pets because people People have housing insecurity. People have lost their jobs and can't afford to do that uh, or care for their pet anymore. And that's why one of the biggest things that we have done since the pandemic began is we started a first of its kind pet resource center here in the city of Memphis. And that basically means that if you need help, you need resources to keep your pet, we're here to help. We run a robust pet food pantry. We've given out over 100,000 pounds of pet food this year to uh, families that needed that assistance, medical care, spay and neuter, 
vaccinations, um, whatever you need to be able to keep your pet, we're trying to be that resource, even if it's paying your pet deposit because you can't afford that. Um, but the requests are coming in, as you said, Alex, the, the pandemic has hit our world in so many ways and um, an increase in requests for intake is definitely one of those that is having a negative impact on our operation. Valuable information as always. And of course, we put up all that information that folks can find uh, so that they can help you out. Alexis Pugh, Director of Memphis Animal Services. Thank you so much for being with us this morning on Live at 9. Thank Good you. Good to see you.